So today I want to talk about what it actually means to break up with normal. I've been talking about it for a few months. Um, I've been talking about it more and more and more and more and more because it's a part of what my process has been and what I've really come to embrace and love about my journey. And what I want to uh, bring forth into this video is to share how you can do this as well and why you may want to do this. So uh, I'm Kelly Greeno. Yes, I know it looks like Grignon. It's pronounced Greeno. Um, and I am the founder of kellygreeno.com that actually transforms the overwhelmed and overstressed business owner into the person that is overflowing in passion, confidence, and impact in their business and in their life in general. And today I want to talk about this breakup with normal concept because it's part of the journey that I've been on for the past couple of years, but specifically this year and really about letting go of the old letting go of things that aren't mine and really embracing my own truth and figuring out who I really am. And I think a lot of us are on this path and we really want to know like, what is our purpose? What is my passion? Why am I here? What can I do? What am I meant to do? A lot of you that are on my Facebook friends list are entrepreneurs in some way, shape or form, whether it's MLM, you own your own real estate business, or, um, I wish I have quite a few of you on here, which is kind of cool. Um, and also, sorry, we got interrupted. My internet's been a little iffy lately. Um, and also those of you that are like coaches of some kind or business owners of some kind. So um, this concept isn't just for the entrepreneur, but typically an entrepreneur is someone that isn't normal, right? The stereotypical normal path is go to high school, go to college, get a degree, get a job in for some company, right? Working for somebody else, get married, have kids, retire. Like that's pretty much the path that everybody goes on, right? Same stuff over and over and over again. Now we're having generations that are coming up through the, the works that actually do want to do their own thing. They want to have their own business, right? But it's not just a millennial thing. But the very first thing, this is going to break down into three steps. But first, I want to acknowledge that if you have entrepreneurial ten entrepreneurial tendencies, whether you want it to be something fun, whether you want it to be a hobby on the side, whether you want it to be a part-time thing, whether you want it to be full-time, whether you want it to be your empire that you build that changes your life and makes you a billionaire, like any way, shape, or form that you are starting your own business and selling something of your own, you are not normal. Normal is getting a job, working for someone else, working to retirement, retiring, and then sort of like floundering around for the rest of your life. That's kind of what I've been seeing as uh, some of our friends get older and into retirement and starting to talk about different things with other people as they get further up in their careers and their jobs. And what I'm realizing is that you first need to acknowledge the fact that you're not normal. And that is a really fantastic thing. We don't need more normal in this world. We don't need more status quo. We don't need more mediocre. We don't need more zombies and more people that are just going with the flow and aren't thinking for themselves, aren't aware of what's going on for themselves, that um, are not deliberately creating the life that they want for themselves. We don't need more of those people. We need more people that are willing to break up with what is normal. I know that we are raised uh, by families, by parents, by grandparents, by society, and it all has created who you are up until this point. And I think that's a wonderful thing. We all have our own journey. We all have our own beliefs. We all have our own stories. We have walked in our own shoes for a reason. Nothing happens to you. It always happens for you. But there comes a point when you have to kind of realize like a lot of this stuff that I'm carrying around isn't mine. I am so appreciative for the way that people have tried to steer me, tried to help me, thought I needed something, thought I was good at something, um, felt like I should do something, should behave a certain way, should act a certain way, should look a certain way, should do a certain thing. I'm so appreciative that people felt like they wanted to help me and guide me and I know every single one of them had great intentions of love and support and security and safety. I'm very grateful for that and I know that you are as well for those people in your life. But There comes a point when you need to start shedding all of this stuff that isn't yours and really embracing what, what is yours. So this is this process of going through a breakup. I don't know how many relationships you have been in and I haven't had that many breakups in my life, but I do know that there's kind of this three part process to going through that breakup because you kind of had the awareness of like, okay, look, it's not working out right, right? There's some part of your life, whether it's, um, you know, your marriage, your business, your lifestyle in general, your financial situation, there's some part of your life that you're kind of like, this isn't, this isn't working out right. This, this isn't, I'm not as happy as I want to be. Right. So think about it as a relationship with a person. Like, it's just not what you're looking for. You really want something better. Like it's good, right? I'm not saying life is shitty and your things are horrible. Like things are good. They're, they're good enough, but 
you're kind of realizing mm, good enough isn't really good enough. So it's time for something else, right? So you could decide that you're going to go through this breakup process. You decide that you're going to end things and move forward to a new chapter in your life. And I know that that can be scary. I know that that can be um, sometimes overwhelming. I know that that can be sort of an uncertain thing and we can take a really long time to make that decision. But once you do make this decision, I've written out three different parts to this process of going through breaking any type of breakup, but specifically breaking up with status quo, breaking up, breaking up with what's normal in this world and really truly stepping into your own with passion, with confidence and being able to influence and impact others in your life and in the world. So number one is that you need to come to terms with it. So you make the decision and you maybe have the conversation like this isn't working. It's not really what I want to move forward with, right? And you have to come to terms with that. So you've had that conversation, right? Let's say you go over to your boyfriend's or girlfriend's house or you know your partner's house and you're like, okay, this we need to go our separate ways, right? You give your it's not you, it's me speech, like whatever your process is, fine, right? And you have to leave that house or leave that situation and you have to really give yourself a chance to come to terms with it. So a lot of thoughts go through our process, um, go through our head when we start to make these decisions like, well, what if? Like, okay, well, what does that mean? And sometimes it can be fearful and sometimes it can be really exciting. Everybody's a little different, could be a combination of both. But we really need to allow ourselves this process of coming to terms with, I just made a big decision and I can feel the fear and I can have the worries, but I am going to choose to be excited about this. We can even be upset, right? There is a grieving process when we do make a change. In some way, we're losing something, right? Anytime you choose A, you're also not choosing B. So there's a sense of grief or loss in the process. That's normal. People feel it differently at different levels. They express it differently. But this process of coming to terms with it is important to go through at your own pace, go through in a way that feels good to you, feels supportive of you, but is also going to allow you to move forward. So when you go through any type of breakup, I am specifically talking about breaking up with what you have always done, the results you've always gotten, and choosing to find what is yours and bring your passion and mission out into the world, right? Choosing to break up with this normal status quo, quo, mediocre stuff, and choosing to embrace what's yours in a very big, passionate, confident, fantastically amazing way. The process is first to come to terms with it. Come to terms that you just decided to drop a part of your life. You chose to break up. You chose to end it. Coming to terms is different for each person, but it's something that we do need to go through in order to move on to the next phase. And the second phase is about finding what's yours and trashing the rest. So this is actually a really fun process if we choose it to be. Finding what's yours and trashing the rest, right? Like think about it. You've got a boyfriend and you go back to your apartment or to your house and you're like, you know, got to pick up all of his stuff. Like you got to give it back or you got to burn it or throw it out. Like you got to pick and choose. Like, is this mine? Was this his? Does this bring up memories of our time together or not? Right. It's the same process as you're breaking up with this normal part of your life. You kind of have to go through these piece by piece of like, what is mine? What is someone else's? Sometimes we don't even need to identify where it came from or who it, who gave it to us. And we need to let that stuff go, put it in a box And don't just hide it away in your mental closet, but get rid of it, right? It doesn't do you any good to hang on to those things. We're so attached to things sometimes. And I know I'm not talking about specific, like physical things in your life. I know that's part of the example, but like we're so attached to those things and those memories and those emotions they evoke, right? But if you're really ready to move to a different chapter in your life, to move through to a new phase, to a new lifestyle, to new levels of abundance and fulfillment and happiness you kind of have to get rid of that stuff that's baggage that's weighing you down. You can't just like, because the problem is it will creep back in and before you know it, it's like taken back over again. We need to allow ourselves and give ourselves permission to cut ties with it, right? To make the decision. I've talked about that before, that a decision means to cut and to move ourselves forward, which means we need to leave stuff here. I had a coach once who told me that she's like, it's really like you've been picking up things all throughout your life, different pieces, different baggage, different, you know, hats, clothes, whatever you want to envision, right? Picking up pieces all along the way, forming your beliefs, forming your life. And now you're going through a process of sorting through and discovering, oh, this isn't mine. I don't want to carry this anymore. And you have the choice to put it down, to leave it there, to continue walking forward and never pick it up again. That's your choice, right? So that's the second process. The second step of really being able to pick through and choose what is yours and then trash the rest, 
right? And it feels so good to do. I know it can evoke different emotions. It can bring up different um, beliefs and fears for us. Again, that's a process we need to go through. Everybody is different being able to pick and choose in what's there. But because you have made the choice, you've had the awareness, you've made a choice and you're taking action on it, it's really freeing and very lightening. Sometimes we don't understand how much weight is actually on us because of this baggage. It's self-induced. We're choosing to cling to it. So being able to find what's yours and like get rid of the rest is an amazing, amazing process. Step three is to then choose to shine brighter than ever. It's choosing to step into your own, to name it and claim it, to choose that this is me and I love me and I'm confident in me and I can talk about who I am and what I do in the most amazing, authentic, genuine way ever. It's so freeing to discover what's underneath all that other baggage, right? So step one is to um, start coming to terms with the fact that you're making the decision to break up with this area of your life, with this habit, with this pattern, with this lifestyle, with this struggle. You're choosing to make a change and you've made a decision. The coming to terms process, again, is different for each person. Sometimes there's grief involved and loss involved. Sometimes it's all excitement. Sometimes it's fear. Sometimes it's a mix of everything, which is why oftentimes it can be overwhelming and can sort of allow us to like slip back into, okay, maybe I don't want to do that. Um, That's why it's important to have the support through the process because you don't want to slip back to that. You want to continue to move forward. So coming to terms is step one. Finding what's yours and trashing the rest is really a process of self-discovery, of having somebody support you in asking you questions to help you dive deeper because what you have been carrying around for so long, it feels like yours. It feels like this is a part, it's a security blanket. It's something we are used to. It is um, something we've grown to be uncomfortably comfortable with. I talked about that before, um, about the difference between uh, being comfortable with uncomfortable and how that's backwards. We're, we are uncomfortable, but we're just comfortable with feeling that uncomfortable. And that's the problem. So that's a whole other video. Um, so this process of picking through what's yours getting really clear, right? Asking questions, diving deeper. Um, I go through this with my daughter and her clothes at least once a year. You know, what is your style? What is your size? What is your style? Will you actually wear it? Do you actually love it? How do you feel about it? We need somebody to help us ask those questions and not run away from the little sticky conversations and facing our own truth. Because sometimes, as freeing as the truth can be, sometimes it is a little bit of a harsh pill to swallow. Uh, So step three is shining brighter than ever, choosing to really like now that you've gotten rid of a lot of this stuff, a lot of this weight, a lot of this extra crap that has been dulling you, holding you down, keeping you stuck, keeping you struggling or at a plateau or feeling good, but not freaking amazing. Like now you have the chance, like it's amazing how much lighter it may feel. It's like how an athlete can choose to train with a weighted vest or with a mask, like a breathing mask that constricts their breathing. Um, how swimmers will swim with suits, like th- two to three suits on that are extra tight because of the, the drag and because of strength conditioning. Like it's the same concept. That way when they put on their competition suits or they go to the race, like it's a breeze. We've kind of been doing that all of our life. We've been piling stuff on, lots of other beliefs from other people, perspectives from other people, and it's it's very heavy, but we just don't know it because we're so used to it. So going through this process of shedding those allows you to finally like shine. And it's the most amazing, incredible feeling. Can you imagine waking up feeling excited about your life, feeling confident when you walk into a room not insecure, not uncomfortable, not awkward, not unsure, but genuinely calmly confident in who you are, why you're there and what your intention is for being there, right? Like that's such an incredible feeling, but not only that, because a lot of you I know are entrepreneurs, it's being able to share your message authentically and confidently and vulnerably so that it actually connects with people. When you create that line of connection with people, I know you can't see my other hand as I'm like showing these things off screen. Um, It's this line of connection between you and your audience, between you and your clients, between you and your customers, and you and your spouse, and you and your kids, and you and your family, this constant line of connection can only be kept if you are embracing what is your truth, 
and you're sharing it very authentically and vulnerably, not from a place of insecurity, not from a place of false confidence, but from genuine authenticity in who you are and you share it with the amount of passion and excitement that is yours. And you start doing things in a way that's yours. I talk about all the time how the best business coaching isn't going to work if you're not putting yourself into the equation. It's not just this life in general, let alone the business, is not just a template that you get to like plug and plop and and fill in the template. You got to be able to customize this life and this business and no matter what industry you're in and make it your own. Because if you're just copying people, you will only see this amount of success when you could potentially be at this amount of success. You got to be able to put yourself into the equation, right? And that only comes when you start to figure out who you are. And right now you're operating underneath all these beliefs and this weight and these thoughts and these ideas and perspectives from other people. And like I said at the beginning, like there's nothing against these other people. We don't blame, we don't hate, we don't criticize other people for the way that they've damaged our lives. Like they have done what they have known to do with the best of their ability. They had good intentions. They People do the best they can with what they know right? And it's just that we need to be able to raise our own levels of consciousness, to raise our own levels of awareness, and to really be able to embrace who we are with confidence and love. That way you can bring your message out into the world because the more true you get to yourself, the happier you'll be, the um, the more fulfilled you will be, the more energetic you will be, the better your business will do, the better your marriage will be, the better your life in general is going to be, right? You get to be a better mom, you get to be a better wife, you get to be a better person, a better business owner, better friends, because you get to be you. And you're no longer trying to, like the missed communication that happens between people, the connection that could be like a lot clearer between people and a lot deeper, because we're trying to like, no, maybe I should shift what I'm going to say because it might not be quite appropriate for this situation or maybe it might not be perceived in the right way or like we try to shift and mold ourselves to fit the situation we're in or the relationship that we're in or what we think we should do, what we think we need to do or have to do in order to be happier, more successful, make more money, build a business, have a successful marriage, right? Instead of shining brightly as the human being that you were created because God does not create extra people. You're not here to just breathe the air and take up space. You're created for a reason. And right now you're just kind of like stuck underneath all this normal, stuck underneath everybody else's beliefs, underneath the mediocre, right? So those three steps to come to terms with it, find what's yours and trash the rest and shining brighter than ever are those three pieces that you can walk through to help yourself really get clear on what this like breaking up with normal process is. Now, if I have resonated with you, if you're looking for support in the process, send me a message. I currently have private coaching spots that are open for three months of private coaching and in-person intensive and access to the group mentorship program and break up with normal. Not ironic that that's the name of the program, Um, but that's going to set you up for the next four months to be able to go through this process, have the support that you need and actually make the change happen. Because let's be honest, the change that you desire to happen, if you knew how to do it, it would already happen. Like it already be done. If you're a smart individual, excuse me, like, right? Like you're smart. You you wouldn't be choosing to struggle if you had the solution to get out of it, right? No matter what area of life that may be. I focus specifically on life, marriage, and business and being able to create you in a way that you can project yourself into this world and be contributing to the public, be contributing to your family, be contributing to your own happiness, be confident in who you are, be passionate about what you are meant to do in this world, and be connected in the relationships that you're choosing to pursue, whether it's with clients and customers or in your own marriage or family. It comes down to you, right? The best marketing tools in the world are not going to work if you don't have you in the equation, if your confidence isn't there, if your message isn't clear, if you're just regurgitating what somebody else said you should do or have to do or need to do. It's got to be you first. Your truth needs to be discovered first before you're going to actually, you you may make progress. I'm not saying you're not going to see any success. You're going to see certain levels of success. But what I'm telling you is that like you're seeing this much, right? The tip of the iceberg compared to what's actually possible for you. Life is good. I'm not doubting that. Life is good. You do have things to be very grateful for, as do I. But there's so much more 
that you're missing out of in this life because you're stuck in the mediocre, you're stuck at less, you're buried beneath some of these other beliefs and thoughts from other people. So send me a message if you want more information on how to work together and get the support that you need to grow, to expand, to go through this breakup process and really embrace who you are and bring that passion into the world. Because let me tell you, you are so needed. Your light, your message, your mission is needed in this world now more than ever. There is so much crap, so much negativity, so much hate in this world. And we need more people to learn to shine so brightly that we can blind out that other shit. There is no room for that stuff anymore. And we need to step up and we need to embrace ourselves. We need to love ourselves. We need to spread that mission in this world. You need to live on your purpose and what you were meant for. I know that you were created for something bigger than just paying bills and dying and retiring. Like I know that this little bit of success that you've seen, even if it feels like a good amount, I know there's so much more for you. And that's what my mission is, is to help you embrace who that is and bring that person, that version of you out into the world because you are so needed. You're meant to impact so many people, not just like, you know, creating a volunteer service or traveling the world, helping in some way. Like sometimes it's your ability to get and speak and shift perspectives on a specific area. Sometimes it's how you impact your family and impact your children and show up in their lives. That is a huge ripple effect in and of itself because you're impacting your children. Like, this isn't just about you as much as I love you and believe in you and know you are meant for so much more and I want you to live the absolute best version of your life and live in that lifestyle that you've been dreaming of and telling yourself that you just don't think you can have or it's like 10 years down the road I want all of that for you but I also want you to understand that this isn't just about you this is also about how you're going to impact your family and how you're going to impact your community and how that ripples out and impacts the world We need people to start stepping up to choosing love over fear, to own their own selves, own their confidence, own their voice, and bring that message out into the world, whatever that purpose is for you, whatever that's meant to be. That's part of the process, right, of coming to terms and getting clear of what's yours. That's part of the process that we work through. So I would love to work with you. If you're interested, send me a message and we can talk more about it and how that works and find out if it's a good fit. I do have a few openings this month as well as next month to get started. So let's get you set up so that you can start stepping into your own passion, your own confidence and creating the influence that you desire in this world. And so you can contribute and create some major change in your own life as well as in the lives of others. Have a fantastic rest of your day, guys. I will talk to you soon. Be fierce and embrace your truth. See ya.